the trash bag. Throw your mama in here. Hey, what is up society? It is your favorite wannabe influencer and sovereign Koi and welcome back to another Reddit story video, baby. I know y'all are excited because y'all read that title, honey, and I got some pretty interesting stories today, day, day. So let's just get right into the video. First story. Am I the asshole for telling my husband he's too broke to be sexist? Hey, because how you talking shit if you ain't got no money? <laughs> like, so my husband comes from a traditional family. Mom's a stay-at-home mom, father was sole provider. I come from the opposite. My mother was pretty much forbade from ever financially depending on a man, and that was drilled into me early on. My husband worked hard to unlearn the values he saw replicated at home. He pulled his weight at home, was an engaged and present father and a genuine partner. The one thing that grinds my gears is how much weight he puts on the opinions of his family. I get that we all want our parents to be proud of us, but this is too much. My in-laws are staying with us for two weeks. Our usual MO is I prep breakfast, we all eat lunch at work slash school, and my husband makes dinner. We have a cleaner, but she's on holiday. So in the meantime, we're DIYing the cleaning, where it's down to everyone to keep their space clean and common spaces we all clean. This is how we've always done it, and it works. My in-laws hate that I'm one of those modern women. They hate that I work, they hate that I don't find my purpose in being a wife and mother, and they hate that my husband pulls his weight at home. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. We spoke frankly early on, good, established boundaries, where I established my boundaries and told them that I won't be chastised about how I live my life in my home, period. Cause you can leave. You can go to a hotel, Airbnb. When I'm a guest in their home, I accommodate their ways and play the daughter-in-law they wish I was. They have, for the most part, respected this. I got home yesterday after work, tired and starving. I typically get home around 8.15 to 8.30 and we eat around nine. I said quick hellos and ran up for a pre-dinner shower. When I came down, I went to the kitchen to help set up for dinner and found nothing ready. Chow, okay, okay. I asked my husband about it, but he wouldn't even look at me. And his mother answered that he hadn't cooked anything. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. She told me I needed to do my duty as a wife and cook for my family. My coward of a husband still wasn't looking at me. Of course he wasn't. Child. I just walked away and ordered takeout. Hello, hey man. I dished up for me and my kids and we sat at a table to eat. My husband and his parents served themselves and joined us. My mother-in-law was still going on about what's wrong with me and why I was a failure? You can leave, ma'am. There's the door. Excuse, <laughs> I'm sorry. Ain't no woman gonna be talking to me like that in my house. If you don't pay no bills up in here, you can go and take that coward with you. I asked my husband if he had anything to say. He said his mother had a point and it wouldn't hurt if I acted more like a proper woman and took better care of my home and children. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said tradition was tradition for a reason and it was kind of insulting that I thought I was too good for how he was raised. I'm breathing in and out, in the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's trying to get me committed. Mm. This is where I might be the asshole. I told him tradition won't allow a man on a 35K salary to support a family of five, and he was too broke to be sexist. Period! 35K a month, that's a year, baby, that's it? 35 a year, that's it? Sir. Sir. Sir, <laughs> like, no, the answer is no, y'all. Before I even finish, the answer is no. Continuing, he looked hurt and I saw tears swelling in his eyes. Okay, here's a bucket. Here's a, here's the bucket. Put your tears in here. And if you don't think you're gonna have enough to fill up the bucket, here's a cup. Go ahead. And if this gets too full, you can just cry, 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 pour. Cry, 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 pour. Cause that's all I want, so I'll give a damn. Here's it for your crocodile tears. Here's the bucket for the crocodile tears. Here's the bucket. He excused himself from the table. I regret saying this in front of our children. Nah, -uh. don't regret that. Don't regret that. Let him know. You want to be the man of the house? Men don't don't disrespect their wives like that. Yeah, 
And depending on if you have a daughter, it's a boss bitch move, period. I regret saying this in front of our children, but him saying that to me after I'm busting my ass to clean up after his mess on top of dealing with his parents was just too much for me. Am I the asshole? Girl, no. No, 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 no. And literally he gives, he's giving the boys who live in the basement of their mama's house, the, the podcast bros, the freaking passport bros, like you're too broke. You said that you want to have a, a family, you want a traditional lifestyle. Traditionally, a woman never had to worry about money, ever. Cause this man had to support a woman. No, 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 no. How you gonna, how you gonna say that she needs to be a traditional wife, but you're not a traditional husband. 35K a year? Baby, quit playing with me. Get out of my face. That might work in Cuba, maybe in Guatemala. Maybe somewhere where, where rent ain't $1,500 a month. The heck is you talking about? Because you is broke. After you just worked up all of that guard to be talking shit because your punk ass mama right here. I don't give a fuck who the fuck right here. Jesus could be standing right next to you. I'm going to still tell your ass you're broke. The hell up out of here. Once again, here's the bucket. Okay? And as a matter of fact, here's a trash bag. Throw your mama in here. Moving on. Am I the asshole for not being extra nice to our disabled friend? Mm. My fiance, let's call him Oso, and I have a friend that is handicapped. He fell out of a window when he was a kid. Dang. Not to be funny, but he went full Game of Thrones on that. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. The accident left him with one messed up arm and some mental issues, primarily memory loss and seizures. Dang, that's messed up. I hope he got a service animal. He's 36 years old, but has the mentality of an adolescent. Oh, okay. A while back, he lied to me and I confronted him about it. Lied to you about what? Context? His initial response was, well, also must be lying to you and trying to get me in trouble. My fiance would never sink that low and is not a habitual liar. Also, also has screenshots providing his side of the story. Can we hear about the story, friend? I would love to know what happened. Later, after he admitted he lied, he did apologize with pressure from his wife, but also tried to say, I felt attacked when you confronted me about it and tried to guilt trip me. I said, well... If you didn't lie to me in the first place, I wouldn't need to confront you about it. I felt like my reaction was reasonable. Well, yeah. Can we know what the lie was, friend? I'm just going to make up something. He stole here her Snickers and lied about it. <laughs> That's what we going with. Y'all come up with a better scenario in the comments. Our friend also does shady shit like trying to manipulate people about money. For instance, he texted Oso and said, Gee, I wish I had money for bingo tonight. <laughs> He'll get blocked. He would get blocked. And if he asked about it, I'd be like, oh, I thought you was a scammer. After he decided to join Oso for bingo night, when Oso didn't fall for it, he texted another friend the same thing. <laughs> Y'all need to get rid of him. I'm sorry, friend. I got into an argument with Oso about this yesterday. Personally, I don't like the guy, and I keep our interactions limited. Girl, I wouldn't like him either. Unfortunately, he really likes Oso and shadows him every chance he gets. Oso doesn't even like bingo anymore because our buddy started going regularly. Anytime Oso does something new, the guy tries to tag along. Oh, so he just like a little copycat and a follower. And he like obsessed with him. Ew. He also kept calling Oso several times a day until I bluntly told him to stop. Oso says I should be nicer because he has the mind of a child. I agree that he's not all there. But I think he uses his disability to get away with the bullshit and steps over boundaries. I do not treat him with kid gloves the way that most people do. I'm not trying to be cruel, but I refuse to coddle him. I don't know. Am I being ableist? I feel like it takes a special type of person to befriend or be close to someone who has like a mental disability of that caliber. I wouldn't believe that. I don't believe that you're being ableist. Those type of things aren't okay. Granted, he does have um, a mental disability, but at the end of the day, even though he has a mental disability, you don't have to be comfortable with that. Now, you don't like the guy. Hey, it's not about the fact that he's ableist. It's about the fact that you are not getting the proper vibe from him. Like the things that he's doing are not, you know, sitting right with you. Like it'll be different. He was just like, you just don't like him because he has a disability. No, no, <laughs> you're not even making like nasty comments about his mental disability. You're saying this is what he's doing and it's making me uncomfortable. And this is the reason why I don't like the guy. So your husband also obviously is just like, okay with it. He's just like, mm, okay, my friend is, you know, not all there. So I kind of just let it slide. You don't have to be comfortable with those same things, though, despite that being your husband's friend, you know? 
So, no, I don't think that you're the asshole at all. It would be different if you were saying like degrading nasty things about him or something like that, but you're not. You're simply just saying, this is some situations that I've had with this individual and I don't like the way that it makes me feel as a result, you know? So, no, I don't think that you're ableist and I don't think that you're the asshole. I would just say, just stay away from that friend because you obviously are not comfortable and let your husband deal with him. If your husband's not complaining, if your husband's not saying anything to you, he's obviously condoning it. He's obviously okay with it, so... Just stay in your own lane, friends. Stay away from that person and just, yeah, let your husband do what he do. Yeah. Moving on. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter I was not going to walk her down the aisle or attend her wedding after she went years of no contact with me? Mmm. I, 45 male, divorced my ex-wife, 45 female, many years ago after she had an affair. Mmm. She's now married to her affair partner. A. Okay, you divorced her. Moving on. We also had a daughter who was very rebellious. She pretty much hated me and said that her mom deserved much better than me. Okay, what was going on in this, in this marriage to make your daughter believe that she had to be cruel towards you? When did she start being rebellious? After or before or during the marriage? Because that's a key point. But continuing. Yes, for a year we did struggle financially because money was tight. When her mom got with her affair partner, my daughter, who was 14 at the time, said many horrible things like how the affair was exactly what I deserved and a lot of stuff like that why what what is wrong with this little girl regardless i understood my daughter was going through her teenage rebellious phase so i just accepted those words no no even even this is something that i appreciate about my mom even with me being young my mom would always like I don't want to say drill into us, but she was always big on like empathy and communication and making sure that we understand people's perspectives. Because when you don't acknowledge this type of thing and say, hell no, this is wrong. It just festers into this and th this thing where people think that it's okay to act that way. And my mom wasn't having it. Like if you say some crazy stuff or you're being rude or disrespectful, she's going to tell you that was rude. And that was disrespectful. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about it. You can't speak to people like that. You can't be quick to judge nobody because you thinking you judge you could be in the exact same predicament the next day. Make sure you're watching that for your kids, parents, especially when I get to preteen, teenage, you know? Continuing. However, my daughter always said that she would prove she would be successful in life without me. And after graduating high school, she pretty much went no contact with me. Why? What is wrong with this little girl? I tried to contact her, but she blocked my number and it hurt me a lot. What in the world? She, what happened between y'all to make her act like this? Like, I'm not saying that it's your fault, but why is she acting this way? Well, I moved on because there was nothing much I could do. I moved states to where my sister lives, focused on my career, and I'm financially well off now. I am single by choice, period, same friend. And I'm enjoying life so far. It's fun to hang out with friends, my family, and I have peace of mind now. Good. A couple of weeks ago, my daughter called me. It was the first time in years we had spoken and I could tell that she was nervous. I told her it was all right and she broke down in tears. She apologized for everything and we caught up on life. She told me she really wished she could have made up for how terribly she behaved when she was a child. But I told her it was okay and everyone goes through a tough phase in childhood. She then told me she was getting married next year and that it would mean the world to her if I could walk her down the aisle and be there at her wedding. You wanna call me now that you're finna get married? The fact that you're coming back here and asking me to walk you down the aisle proves that I wasn't a, a, a terrible father, proves that I wasn't a bad dad. Because if I was, you wouldn't even be calling me right now. But okay. However, where I'm at in my life, I just don't have the emotional bandwidth to add my daughter in my life again after she went years of no contact with me. Hey, setting a boundary, period. I told her up front that I will always love her, that I would not attend her wedding or walk her down the aisle. I told her that she will always be welcome in my home, but that I have my own life now. And emotionally, it was hard for me to feel much for her. She broke down in tears and apologized again how everything happened. And I told her it was all right and there was no reason to apologize. We then spoke some more. Am I the asshole? No. 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 And even when you're a kid, right? Even if you're a teenager, even when you go through that bad stage, you know, I just recently saw a video where it's like, we have to be reminded as people that our parents are just a girl or just a boy just a man just a woman who's living life for the very first time too and you know i recognized that a couple years ago when i had that conversation with my mom because we talked about motherhood and she basically told me like you know you have to understand yes i'm your mother but at the end of the day i'm just a person and so as a teenager if your parents decide to go no contact with you after you mistreated them i mean 
yeah, you're a kid at the time, but just because you a kid doesn't mean that the things that you do don't hurt. Like parents are not made of brick, you know, they're human beings made of flesh and bone, just like the rest of us. So when you do things, you can hurt them just as bad as they can hurt you. So it's like, if you do things like that, you have to understand the, the, the consequences of your actions. And OP, your daughter took it to the head. Like she took it crazy. Like, wow. Like you went all the way out there for what exactly? And you know what I think? I believe that she blamed you for the divorce. Despite your wife having an affair, I believe that she blamed you for the divorce. And that's why she was like acting out all crazy. And she did all that all that time. I wonder how many years it's been since you've spoken to her. Because you say that she really don't feel much for the girl at this point. I mean, you will always love her because she's your child. But, you know, you don't really feel much connection with her, which is understandable because of how she did you, you know. We sometimes make this mistake of believing that it doesn't matter what we do to our parents, what we say to our parents. Because our parents will always love us, that means they'll always be in our lives. And no. So, I mean, honestly, OP, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for acknowledging your feelings and, and letting her know where you're at and basically like making her figure it out. She's going to be hurt. She's going to be broken about it. But, hey. That's what happens when you make decisions like that. Hopefully she'll learn from this and move on. Moving on. Am I the asshole for not letting my wife apologize with sex? Mm. My, 26 male, wife, 24 female, confessed to sleeping with someone else. Mm. When I asked her why, she muttered, he's really muscular. This girl thinks she Megara. <laughs> like, okay, I told her I need some time to think about it, whether I'm pursuing divorce or not. Last night, I woke up to her touching my schlong. She says she wants to show me she still loves me and tries to take her pajamas off, but I told her no. She says she doesn't know how else to show me she is sorry, and I shouldn't go out of my way to make things difficult for her. Am I the asshole? No! <laughs> Girl! 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 <laughs> like, you really... Girl. Because your ass decided to go with moto moto, now all of a sudden you want to make up for girl by. Go ahead, divorce Miss Shadow. Go ahead, divorce her. She can go have go ahead and have all the Hercules and motos, and I don't even know who else is strong up there in the wor world. I don't know Maui's and all the other things in the world. Go ahead, divorce her so you can set her free. Because uh, what girl? How you how you gonna think you using the exact same tactic you used to betray me was gonna make up for what you did? Girl, the punani ain't that good. Girl, bye. No, you're not the asshole. Go ahead and get the divorce papers because she got to go. He was really muscular. Like, chill. Whatever. Go ahead and get to signing. Moving on. All right, society, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, share, and comment because I love to read you guys' comments. And also, if you're new, hello, make sure to subscribe because I would love for you to be a beautiful society member. And for all my lovely society members, please make sure to hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time I post. All right, guys, I love ya. See you in the next video. Bye.